Hey guys, it's Sheena. Um, so I'm coming to you guys because I had a request to tell about the curly girl method that I follow. And so I'm going to do my best to try to describe it. I'm not an you know, expert at it, but trial and error, but I, I, I do follow the curly girl method. Anyway, first is the book. I do own the curly girl book. Curly girl handbook is what they call it. But that says Lorianne Massey is the, the um, author. So this is what the book looks like now. I think there's another book also, but it's an older one. This may be, I believe this is a newer one. Okay. Anyway, and I've also got the Curly Girl website up. Okay, so the first steps on this website they say that you should take, and this is just giving you a rundown of the method before I tell you my opinions and everything about it. Okay, it first says understand what Curly Girl or No Poof method is. You know, it is the method is based off the book. Um, it says to say no to shampoos, um, unplug that dryer, and find your inner curl. And it also includes not using a brush so that you can make your hair frizzy. Okay, so that means no poo. Most people don't, I don't know if you know what no poo is, but I'll tell you anyway, no poo is no shampoo. And so I do not shampoo my hair with shampoo on a regular basis. Um, now, there are some Curly Girl approved products, and I will probably put a link in so if anybody wants to know. I'll put a link in um, on the blog so you can see the, uh, the Curly Girl approved product. This Giovanni that I use and love is approved. It's a shampoo, and you can see it's really, it's, I mean, I've had this a long time. Um, I use this not often, maybe every two or three months, if, like, I'm, I feel like my hair is just, like, not really being clean because of the fact that um, I put a lot of oil and um, stuff on it for when I do twist outs or whatever. But since I haven't been wearing twist outs, I haven't been using really using this. But um, it's approved on the Curly Girl method, so it's okay for me breaking stuff. Okay, but anyway, normally you would just use a conditioner or a no poo shampoo. Um, Let's see, Curls has one. I think I did a product review on it. Curls has one. Um, Diva Sean has one who I believe is Lori, Lori Ann Massey, is the creator of Diva Curl. So anyway, those are ones that they're no poos. So it's no shampoos, just conditioner. You wash your hair with conditioners. And what I like, the conditioner I like is um, Giovanni's 50-50 Balance or anything, any of the Giovanni line conditioners because they have a lather to them. So you still feel like when you're, you know, running your hands through your hair and fluffing it, I mean, trying to massage it through, you get a little bit of a lather, it's just like a lathery feel, anyway, so I still feel like my hair is being cleaned, so I, I like that, you do have to get used to it if you're used to shampoos, because we're all taught that lather is cool, you know, that more you lather, the cleaner your hair is, and so this method tries to teach you to break that thought process that that lather is going to be good, because those sulfates and that, I think it's all lorethyl sulfate, whatever one that's in the same one that's in dish detergent is in your shampoo. Check it out. Um, okay, so yeah, they want you to get rid of all silicones, no silicones in your products. Um, that includes your conditioner. A lot of times people forget to look at their conditioner and see if there's silicones in it. Um, I mean your shampoo, but there can be silicones in your shampoo too. So you have to look and read. So it also tells you to to read things. You know, a lot of the time I think we look at the front of the bottle and if it says um, moisturizing and will repair broken ends or whatever, we just assume that it will, but you don't read the back of the package to see if it actually could help or if it has products in there that's going to help break it more. Okay, the second step on this curly goes is to clarify your hair with a sulfate shampoo before beginning. This will cleanse your hair from any silicones, ingredients in your hair products with water. We know with a water soluble um, sulfate. Anyway, so that's the second step. Okay, and this step I don't necessarily agree with, um, but it says have your hair trimmed to get rid of the split ends, the dead, damaged ends, or whatever. I don't really agree with it, but I mean, if you it's to each their own. Um, stop using a brush, which I don't use a brush often, which I, I lied. I do use, um, let me see if I can find it. I just. When I have my hair in a ponytail, I use this brush. And it's not a good brush for me to use because I know it breaks your hair. But I use this paddle brush. It's not good for a curly girl. Okay. So that was the fourth step. Stop, stop brushing your hair. The fifth step is stop shampooing your hair. Most sh shampoos contain harsh, drying sulfates that are extremely damaging to curly hair. 
And um, what I realize, what I've noticed is I've told a lot of my friends. A lot of my friends have curly hair, white, black, Hispanic. They all have curly hair. And they've either complained to me about their hair breaking off, being really dry, or being limp. And I just told them, you know, you don't, when you first tell people, hey, stop shampooing your hair. Use only conditioner. They look at you like you're like, that is stupid. Your hair's going to be, my hair's going to be filthy. It's going to work right for me. But I promise you, every single one of the people that I have recommended this, um, process to, even them not even completely following the Curly Girl method, just telling them to take out the sulfates, free, sulfate shampoos and conditioners with silicones, their hair has gotten so much better. Because, you know, those sulfates dry your hair, especially if you have curly hair. Because, you know, I, you do re I've done research and looked at it, and if you look it up, you look at the follicle of our hair versus my curly hair, whether white, black, or whatever, curly hair versus a straight person's hair. The follicle is way different. Our follicle is thicker and it winds when there's a straight. And so, therefore, if they wash their hair, um, something I mean, maybe, I don't know if I've ever been, had to figure out with a uh, with straight hair, try to do this method, if it work as well. I don't know if it would because with their hair being straight, the natural oils get can move down to their the shaft of the hair all the way down. With our hair curling, even if it's a wave or a spiral, whatever, it's harder for the natural oil to come off of our scalp and saturate our hair like it's supposed to. And so, therefore, when you use the conditioner, you're making, you're washing your hair with the conditioner, your hair's getting that extra conditioning that it needs to, you know, be healthy and grow healthy. So, look it up. I guarantee you'll, you'll see that. <laughs> okay. This step, this is the hard one. You have to give your hair time to adjust. Um, I, my sister started the Curly Girl Method before me, and, um, because she does wash and goes a lot. She wears them primarily most of the time um, because she loves her hair curly. I, however, love twist out. I don't really like wearing my hair in its natural state. At any rate, so I began to see a change in her hair and how great it looked. And I was getting frustrated because mine wasn't looking as great, but because I wasn't doing washing goes, so I wasn't washing my hair as often as she was, so my hair didn't adjust as quick as hers did to the curly go method, but definitely give it time. It's going to take at least two to four weeks for your hair to start seeing the potential that it should, you know what I mean? So don't get discouraged if you try this method and your hair's not curling. I mean, I've, I've posted pictures before about with my hair, and I'll repost them um, with my hair before, before curly girl method and after, and it's a different world of a difference. Um, it says the seventh, the seventh step is to wash your hair with conditioner. Um, Again, people, when you first say wash your hair conditioner, they kind of think, no way, my hair's not going to be clean, it's going to be nasty, it's going to be dirty, but honest to goodness, my hair is clean. Um, like I said, the, the Giovanni, I do like it because, like I said, it has a little bit of lather to it, so you, if you're one of those people that has to have a lather to think your hair is clean, Giovanni conditioner is the, is the one for you. Um, yeah, so because it has a little lather. But they also do, again, sell... Um, shampoos that are no poo that you know a creamy curl cleanser is what they call them so you can try those um and they have some that have tea tree in it so you feel the tingle on your scalp so you know it's being clean or you can put some drops in it yourself to make it you know um um the eighth step is to make sure you distribute all the conditioner throughout your hair to untangle it gently um now i think a part of the curly girl method they want you to kind of throw your comb out, throw, my, throw your comb out as well, and use your fingers to tangle your hair. Um, I do finger to tangle in the shower, mainly because sometimes I forget to bring my comb in the shower. Um, I used to be very, very impatient when I would detangle my hair because, again, I was using sulfate shampoos and silicone things, so my hair was really dry. But now I've noticed that now, since I've been doing this curly girl method, when I get in the shower and condition my hair and wash it or whatever, when I'm ready to detangle, my, it, it, it's a lot easier. Things go a lot smoother for me now. Um, okay. Ninth step. Do the final rinse of your hair with cool or cold water. This also helps decrease frizz, which I never knew that, never thought about it. I would rinse my hair the same heat that I put on my body. But it does help. Tenth the 10th step was a like a wow aha moment for me because me when I used to wear my hair in a wash and go the curls didn't look as good even after I've been doing it for a while I just because I would do